Hey guys, Puppies World here once again. Today what I'm going to do for you is compare, or more or less review, the Amazon Basics 16 gauge speaker wire. Keep in mind, I bought a 100 foot spool from Amazon and paid around $11 total in shipping and all. Now one thing I want to point out is, concerning the speaker wire ran from this receiver, I have done a unique type of run just to see if this would work, and of course it is not working to hide the wires. I took some of the wires that go onto the right side of the room here and ran them up above the trim, around, down, into each according speaker. It's just not going to work. I mean, on this side it somewhat works, but more or less you can tell. And then the main reason I can't do this is because of over here I had to run things over the door trim, down like that, and it's definitely noticeable. So I'm going to go back to my old roots of taking a drill bit and drilling a hole in the carpet through the floor into the basement. Then go into the basement on the ceiling and run the wire from over here over to the back of the couch area. Drill a hole down once again, not up, but down. Grab the wire, fish it through, and run it to the corning speakers. So, speaker wire hiding, fail. Amazon speaker cable, 16 gauge, 100 foot believe it or not. Now, what I've done here, let me explain some things here. Like I said, I've ran the exact amount of length of wire to each speaker. Surround left speaker, I'm sorry, it would actually be surround right speaker, surround back right, surround back left speaker, surround left. I've run the exact same length of wire to each speaker, every speaker exactly. Uh, so that's why I had to get 200 foot spools. And keep in mind, I'll be doing a different video on the 14 gauge Amazon basic speaker wire. Um, and then at one point, I'll actually do a video where I take out the AudioQuest speaker cable to the two front channels concerning the power amp and basically compare the AudioQuest wire to the Amazon basics. Now, I'm not sure if we're going to notice the difference there at all. However, what I have configured right now is let me see if you can see this. So I have wired up some. Decently high class, so to speak, monster cable speaker wire to this speaker, and Amazon Basics speaker wire to this speaker. 16 gauge, 50 foot run to each speaker, 50 foot. To see if we can tell the difference. Over here, what I've done is used some of the cheaper monster cable, Amazon. So, what that does for us is, I'll explain this slightly. I have the receiver set right now. By the way, it's on internet radio. I have it set in multi-channel stereo, as you can see. And what that does is every speaker basically gives the exact same stereo imaging. Surround, surround, back, all of that the same. Should be the same volume from each speaker almost, too. I haven't calibrated this just yet with the X, the, you know, T32 calibration microphone just yet, the Odyssey. But once I do, we'll do another comparison and see if anything changes. I doubt highly it will, because this receiver was calibrated in my last property and it was working just fine. But, mind you, I have the receiver in multi-channel stereo. The surround back channels are slightly closer to the listening position than they should be, more or less, and, and, and certainly in my opinion. The surround back channels should somewhat be a little bit further away, but since we're in a combined, you know, close quarters here, we're going to keep them where they are. I'm actually going to be changing those speakers out to height speakers soon, or when the SVS elevation speakers, we'll do that, but we'll figure that out then, guys. One thing, though, the surround backs are acting a little bit louder right now, since they haven't calibrated stuff up, more or less than the surround speakers. So... We're going to compare, or go ahead and see if we can notice a difference between the left surround back, well that's actually the right surround back, and the left surround back. If you're reversed, the surround speakers are, you know, your right ear or your left ear. So, what I'm doing now is standing in between the surround back speakers, which are exactly the same audible level right now. Same amount of audio to each speaker. Different speaker wire though. Amazon 16 inch. I'm sorry, 16 gauge, Amazon Basics, 16 gauge, 50 foot run, Monster, uh, 14 gauge maybe, 50 foot run. Now, according to theory, 
we should notice a difference. I'm not saying that one speaker should be quieter than the other, but according to theory and other people, with, with speaker wire being you know different, we should notice a difference. I have to be honest, guys. I don't notice any audible bit of difference. These speakers sound exactly the same volume. Now, that's more or less going to depend on your amplifier, but running different speaker cables, you sh in theory, should hear different audio, correct? Incorrect, guys. It, speaker cable, where it makes a difference is in long 100-foot-plus runs or in the wall. For this setup exactly, I notice no audible difference. I'm going to go ahead and let you be the judge, but I'm going to back... I'm going to turn up here. Turn around, I'm sorry. And we're going to turn things up a bit. And that shows a form of audio that we could all agree on or all appreciate, so to speak. And keep in mind, we're playing this through the internet radio. But I'm going to turn things up. And we're on a little commercial right now. So we can go ahead and see if the talking sounds any different. But as far as I am hearing, guys, no difference whatsoever. I am hearing the exact same amount of quality of audio the exact same amount of volume coming from that speaker as well as we, that speaker. The internet loving people want super fast internet where we can download 25 songs in one second. To show you how super fast that is, here's 25 songs in one second. Pretty sweet, right? DJ, give them another 25. Now, hit them with something they can dance to. You feeling that? Oh yeah. Super fast internet. AT&T Fiber. Limited availability. Speeds vary, not guaranteed. Speed and time examples are estimates. Visit att.com slash getfiber for details. Get to JCPenney today. We're here and have all the things you're looking for. Like the latest fall fashions for you and your family. From trusted brands like Arizona and Let's Claiborne to exclusive collections like Libby Edelman and Project Runway. And everything for your home. From stylish decor to brand name appliances. We also have an exclusive in-store offer just for you. Get 20% off any way you pay on select items. Sorry guys. Click here to download no difference whatsoever. Today. We'll wait till we get some music playing back again, but I cannot notice any bit of difference. After a disaster, nearly two-thirds of businesses aren't prepared for an emergency, and 40% of businesses that experience a disaster never recover. Make an emergency plan now, before it's too late. For a free online nah, tool I screwed it all up, develop well. an emergency plan to keep your business up God, and that's running bothersome. disaster strike, visit ready.gov forward slash business. Brought to you by the Federal curtains. Emergency Management Agency, that's the how they should Red look. Cross, and the Ad Council. This is Patrick Sassone. You're listening to one of the world's most listened to blues channels, Bar Rock and Blues, on AddictedToRadio.com. Sorry guys, not one bit of difference between the Amazon Basics 16 inch or 16 gauge speaker wire versus the more expensive monster, the cheaper monster, and Amazon Basics. Once again, I'll lay things out. Amazon, monster, Amazon, monster. Any difference? Same, 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 same. Five out of five stars in my opinion, guys. There you have it. The Amazon Basics 16 gauge, 100 foot spool of speaker wire. $11. Thanks for watching. 
Please subscribe, guys. I'll be back. Take care.